What do you see as the line between movies and games? How is that line going to blur as we move into the future oh, where, so where we can change what is happening on the screen? Yeah. I think there's two important dimensions. One is point of view and field of view. So, you know, traditional film, the width of the screen would be like 20 to 30 degrees of your visual angle. So if you've got 360 degree view, think about, you know, a little bit less than a 10th of that to a 20th of that. Now we can have head mounted displays or immersive displays that are the full 360. And then the other thing is uh, in a movie, obviously it's recorded. You don't have any control over what happens and in gaming, um, what you do affects uh, the world. One of the things that's really striking about movie perception is the degree to which our brains don't turn off that control part. Like, you know, we do all these little twitchy behaviors while we're watching that indicate that the brain is trying to like, you know, get you to run away when the thing is lunging or um, trying to get you to lean in when it's an emotionally engaging experience. But in games, of course, like, yeah, you got like you got to duck out of the way or you're the boulder is going to land on you. Um, so I think those are the those are the dimensions that are super exciting. And those aren't secrets like everybody who works in those fields is working on that stuff. And the question of like, how do you edit in an environment where you don't know exact like in, in a 360 wild wide field of view situation? If you don't know exactly what the person's looking at how do you edit? And if you uh, need them to get a piece of information out of the scene, how do you make sure that they like turn around and look at the character, you know, look at the, the villain creeping in through the window? If they're looking in the other direction, is your story still going to work?